Hello, my most amazing artists. Allow me to introduce you to the Post-it Note Art Show that you just saw take place in LA, California each year. It draws in people from all over the world, including artists from all over the world. This is a place for artists to display their art in a very small, tiny form on just a post-it note. This way, everybody can see the art and art can be affordable to everybody, meaning that they can also buy that art and it doesn't cost too much money. Today, we are seeing some of the famous artists like the creator of Ugly Dolls, that new movie and all of those cartoons. Yeah, that guy had his artwork in the post no art show too. Even the creator of The Simpsons. Yep, if you've ever seen that cartoon, the creator or the animator, the artist, who created Bart Simpson and all the other Simpsons has his artwork in this show too. There are some really unique and cool post-it notes that go in this post-it no art show. Today, we're going to be taking a look at these post-its because we're going to be having a post-it note art show of our own at our school. Your post-it note can have whatever you want on it, as long as it is your very best work and tells me a little bit about you and what you love. It could be imitating a famous piece of art or something that you really, really like. It could be something like your family, a picture of you, just your favorite foods, your favorite things to draw, as long as you spend quite a while on making it detailed. Not just a little It'll quick be a smile tiny art show. Now up. you may be wondering this what's the difference. They're both tiny. Show. Now that this this tiny art show is a little different because it, it is 3D. It is not just flat on a wall. This tiny art show is 3D. It's like actually popping off the wall. The street, and it's meant to really blend into low, communities. So, so it really them. looks like a real like tiny, tiny art show. Like you took a museum or a like gallery and shrunk it down really to, to fit tiny people. Tiny like the movie, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. It was created by an awesome art teacher in Provo, Utah named McKay Lanker Bayer. This is McKay with some of her tiny art and tiny art shows. At her tiny art shows, you will find a normal gallery experience. Experience, just shrunken down. You even have magnifying glasses, glasses that you glasses, can look at the artwork art, with so that you can get really up close. Now usually in a gallery or a museum way, you can't get too close or touch the artwork. Like well McKay didn't want that. She wanted you to be able to interact with the artworks and get very close and use a magnifying glass and see all the tiny details. She loves community art and getting people together to come and look at art. It's a really cool experience and it's super unique. It's really cool that she goes around the United States bringing so these art shows to different communities. Art, Here you see a tiny canvas and a tiny show, easel but and this is a pretty good hint at what we might be doing today. We will be creating a 2D meaning flat and 3D meaning it pops out because three dimensional. Be like you were it, it could be abstract, like it could be realistic, it could be like I said a uh, food. So you get a better view. Today, we will be creating our very own tiny art show at our school. Now, tiny art is something that, just like McKay, I'm also passionate about, meaning I love tiny art. Even when I was your age, I had this book. That's how old this book is. And I loved creating everything teeny tiny, and I had my own tiny art shows. So I thought it would be a great idea for us to have our own tiny art show. You get to decide what you want to create to put into the art show. So it could be whatever you want. Today you're gonna have some pencils, some skinny Sharpies for those tiny details, and some regular size Sharpies, as well as a post-it note. Make sure you peel that post-it note from the side and not just pulling up. That way it keeps its stickiness and will stick onto the table. Make sure that you put the sticky side down when you peel your post-it. After you pick one color of post-it, you will have a magnifying glass, a pencil, and a Sharpie. When you start out, you want to always write your name on the back. That would be the sticky side. But you want to write your name in pencil, not in Sharpie. If you write it in Sharpie, it will bleed through. Your class code is your grade number and the first letter of your teacher's name. So if you're in fifth grade, it's a five. If you're in fourth grade, it's a four. If you're in third grade, it's a three, followed by the first letter of your teacher's last name. Then you can turn it over and begin making your art. You can make anything you want for this tiny art show for the school to see. It could be a self-portrait. It could be a family portrait. It could just be some lines, designs, and patterns. If you remember doing Zen tangles last year, it could just be something where you break up the space and do different patterns in each of those broken up spaces. If you can't think of what to do and you're a little bit stuck, that's okay. That happens sometimes. But what I do not want to see anybody do is starting out with a Sharpie 
and then deciding that they don't like what they drew because they say they made a mistake. Ah, ah, crumple it up. Oh my gosh. Do not throw that paper out. No way. There is no such things as mistakes in art, only happy accidents. If I see anybody that throws their paper away, you will be getting that back out of the trash and turning it into a happy accident. And yeah, it's a little crumpled up, but that's okay. This sad monster is going to be a tiny masterpiece. So please make sure that if you think you're going to need to erase, start with a pencil first and then you can outline in Sharpie. But I do not like wasting paper in here and I'd be happy to let you make as many as you want as long as you finish one masterpiece at a time. If you're stuck, you can always use a sketchbook stick available at the Makerspace to get some ideas. Just make sure that you always put them back and you just draw one at a time. They say different ideas that are silly, draw yourself in 20 years, draw a monster, whatever it is. Make sure that you are thinking of your best ideas right now of what you might draw on your tiny masterpiece. If you're not sure though, don't worry, I've got plenty for you. Now, step number one, again, let's review. Choose one post-it, not two, not three, not 100, just one post-it to start out with. Then write your name and class code in Sharpie. Ah, no, not Sharpie. As you can see, post-it notes are very thin. They are very small as well. So please make sure that you write your name in pencil, not a Sharpie, it bleeds through. That's not good, it always bleeds through. So never do that. Always write it in pencil on the back. And besides, we start with pencil first anyways. So I highly recommend starting with a pencil. Sketch out what you're going to draw just in case you change your mind. You can always erase it. Draw light, light, light until you get it right. That way you can erase. If you press too hard with a pencil, sometimes that's even hard to erase as well. When you're done, you can outline it with a Sharpie marker. Then you can add color or anything you want, as long as it's school appropriate. We will not be displaying anything inappropriate in our tiny art show. So please make sure to keep it positive. You can also write quotes in a creative and artistic way as long as they are positive. So we're not writing anything negative, anything mean, only things that are positive and, you know, make us happy. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a donut because, well, I really like donuts. And I'm also going to keep it positive and write, Donut, give up. Keep on trying, which is what I want you to do if you think you make a mistake. Just keep going. Then you can always outline it in Sharpie and then erase any marks that you didn't like. Then you can add color or whatever you would like. If you're not happy with this one, just know that if you finish, you can make another one. It's all right, they're tiny. I know that you can do them fast, but I also want them to be mini masterpieces. The more detail you have on your post-it, the more interesting it's going to be for somebody to take a magnifying glass and look at it. Think of it as a challenge to create as much detail, tiny, tiny detail as possible for somebody to find with a magnifying glass. Don't forget that when you're finished, artists always sign their artwork in the bottom right corner or wherever they find room. So don't forget that you're gonna write your name and class code on the back with pencil, but that's just so I can give it back to you and know where to find you. But you also want your peers and your classmates and other teachers and people at the school to know who made it. Well, maybe you don't. If you don't want them to know, you just have to have your name on the back for me to be able to know who did it to give you a grade for it. Otherwise, if you do want them to know when it's hanging in our tiny art show in the hallway, you're going to want to sign your name in that bottom right corner when you're done. Think of all different things that you could do. It could be anything, anything you want. Anything that you find yourself that you're really proud of drawing, maybe your favorite game, maybe what you did this summer. It could just be your favorite colors, your favorite patterns, your favorite toy, your favorite foods, anything. Now just know that if you decide to start out with markers or crayons or anything that's not erasable, that you have to keep on going. We cannot give up and start a new one just because we think we made a mistake. See, I decided I didn't like those paint splatters. They looked a little funny and I wasn't too proud of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it into a happy accident by going over top of it with different colors. Now I'm making it into something that I really do enjoy creating and I really do like, but I didn't have to give up and waste my time and waste the paper and throw it away and start over. Cause not only is that wasteful of time and resources, 
but it also is just giving up and we don't want to give up so keep on trying i'm going to go ahead and when i'm finished maybe even add a quote to this if i think i want to remember keep it positive if you are going to do words make sure it's legible as well just make sure it's school appropriate and always always clean up after yourself whenever you are finished with an art supply that means putting the caps back on markers making sure your area is wiped and clean your hands are clean with an art wipe and always throwing away any trash like used art wipes. When you're finished cleaning, you can take your sticky note and come on up to our tiny art show gallery and stick your sticky note right on that board. Just make sure to clean up and I can't wait to see what you create, artists.